Hey guys, what's up? It's Real XXWXX here, aka Fat Game Boy on Instagram. You guys should check me out. First of all, I want to say thank you, thank you very much to all the people that are donating to my GoFundMe to get an iMac computer. I really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart, and you will be noticed. And I'm, I'm just, I'm so grateful for everything you guys are doing. Um, even if you can't donate, I'm, I'm thankful for all the positive messages you guys are sending me. I'm thankful for like telling me that you can't, but that you're watching my videos or you're, you're subscribed to my YouTube or you're following me on Instagram. I appreciate it all. Even if you can't hook me up, that's cool. It's all gravy. I understand we're all broke. Everyone's broke. That's the reason I started the GoFundMe. And it's people are like, it's embarrassing to start a GoFundMe, you know, for a computer. Fuck you, dude. It's fucking expensive to get an iMac. An Apple computer is really expensive. Expensive. And unfortunately, I don't make good money. Even though you see those fucking dolls, all those dolls, people are like, you have like hundred dollar dolls. I'm like, yeah, bro. Those motherfuckers are on layaway, like fucking paying them every month, twenty bucks a month, you know. And yes, I could finance the Apple iMac, but I want to go in there, flat out pay for it, and walk out and have my new computer. I don't want to deal with credit cards. I don't want to deal with none of that stuff. I already have enough bills as it is. I have enough responsibilities as it is. And so I'm asking for help. If you guys can, can't, that's all gravy. It's all cool. I don't care. I'm still doing my videos. I'm still doing my thing. I'll figure it out. I'll do it myself. But, you know, every little bit helps. Uh, so anyways, let's get back to the video. I digress. So today after work, I stopped by a cool place called I Got Next. And I'll tell you guys why it's called I Got Next. I really like the history and the story of the owner, Miguel. Um, he told me the reason he called his store I Got Next is because back in the days he used to put a quarter down on the arcade machines and be like, I Got Next. And I totally remember that and I think that's awesome. And when he told me that, it just made the store even better. That's why I support these mom and pop shops because some of them are really radical, really cool with me. I said radical, it's fucking 90s reference. You guys won't even know. I really like, I support these because I like dealing with people face to face. I like that if a person notices that I go in frequently to the store, their establishment, they'll hook me up with a discount and I love that. I went to that retro respect thing in the last video and some people were like overpriced, they were selling me overpriced games and like the boxes were chewed up or water damaged and then you open the disc, you open the box to get the discount, it's all scratched up and the homeboy's like, I want 15 bucks for it. Like bro, that shit's booty. I'm not gonna pay you $15 for a booty ass game. Just, I'll give you a dollar because I still gotta go pay to get it resurfaced and then look for a new box on eBay. Like be real. Well, now that I showed this, I got this too and I got next. I love this game. One of the only good things Activision ever did was bring out Spider-Man 2. One of the coolest games ever. I think I worked I worked on this one. I worked at Activision as a QA tester and it was shitty time, shitty, shitty time. I also picked up Apocalypse starring Bruce Willis for the PlayStation. And again, I love the fact resurfaced, all clean, all brand new looking. Like that's the, the little shit, man. The little shit. Is, is what I appreciate. At the Retro Respect thing, I picked up Star Wars Republic Commando. This was one of my favorite games when I was a kid. I bought this, and it was the only cool thing that came out of the Clone, the Clone Wars, the whole Star Wars prequels bullshit, was this game. This game is awesome. I remember paying $60 at Blockbuster for this, and now I got it for five bucks. And which is cool, the guy that sold it to me originally wanted 10, but then I was like, dude, I only got five bucks on me. He goes, just take it. And I was like, mad respect, mad respect. So if you guys watched the video, my girlfriend's digging in one of the boxes and I'm like, what are you looking for? She goes, I'm looking for gold. And I'm like, you're not gonna find gold in the dump boxes. And she did. Well, to me, she found Crazy Taxi Part 3 for the Xbox. It doesn't have the case. It doesn't have the manual and it's a little bit beat up, but I could get it resurfaced and then look for the case and manual on, on eBay. Um, this is what I like. There's like a little weird span where like Xbox 360 games and PS3 games are like really cheap and you gotta jump on and grab them. This happens all the time when the new next gen consoles come out. Like there's that weird span where like you can get like games for like two bucks, three bucks, five bucks. This game though is still like relatively expensive. It comes up to like 25 bucks. I got this for ten dollars. The guy hooked me up and I wanted to buy it just to have it in my collection because Honestly, I had a PS3 just for Blu-ray, but now that I can afford these games, you know, I'm gonna buy them. I also got Twisted Metal, another game that I really wanted, but I did not want to pay $60 for, and now I got it for $10 and I'm gonna play it. It's, it's just awesome. I also got Ghost Recon 2 Advanced Warfighter. I already beat this on Xbox 360, but I got it on the PS3 because I just kind of want to just, I want to play it again. I love these Ghost Recon games. 
I love it. So yeah, so I'm picking up PS3 games, I'm picking up original Xbox games and PS1 games. Those are what I'm really collecting because cartridge games, woo wee, they're pretty expensive. The Nintendo, Super Nintendo games are still relatively expensive. So I shot a video at the store. Um, I got next in Monrovia, California, and you guys, I'll take you there. Woo! Hey, what's up guys, it's the XX, XX here. I'm here at, uh, I got next in Monrovia, checking out the cool, uh, cool games. It's a retro game store that I just found on Yelp, and it's, but it looks pretty legit in here. The people in the front are really cool, camera shy. But, you know, I'm just walking through here, I'll show you guys some of the cool stuff they got. I'm gonna get some of these titles. I have a buy two, get one free. Get some Wii titles. My girlfriend wants this. I'm gonna get some games. I don't know why, I can never find this game in the original box. It's always black or like some weird knockoff. So, hey guys, I'm here with Miguel and he's gonna walk me around and show me what uh, I got next, right? Is yeah, that I got next, called? yeah. All right, cool. So this so, is our gaming area. Sweet. Uh, people can run it either by the hour or uh, daily or even throw parties here. So, you know, we can do either So you're one. supporting the community? Absolutely. With yeah. Awesome, that's yeah, cool. This is our, our uh, PSP section. Uh, it's a little poor, but you know, we're, we're beefing up our, uh, our um, PSP uh, um, library. And here is our, uh, our handheld Nintendo Yes. And I noticed you have really good prices in their fair. That's what I really yeah. love about that. We take uh, we take three sources. One is uh, BPG, the other one is uh, Game Dude, and obviously GameStop. We mm -hmm. try to beat these people as the best as we can, you know, fair. See, that is awesome. See, that, like, everywhere else is like 30 something dollars and whatever. I mean, there are trends. I try not to follow trends. But, yeah. You know, it's just it's unfair, you know? Yeah. So this is our. Obviously, our PlayStation uh, 2 is the most successful console in the world, so that's why we do ex excel in that area. Uh, it's a yeah. lot, a lot of PS2 games. <laughs> what do you, what do you guys uh, sell a lot here? Like uh, uh, PS2 is actually is is is, is uh, jumping up in uh, popularity. Obviously, it's really difficult to acquire cartridge games by Nintendo, so people mm -hmm. are uh, looking elsewhere, and PS2 is the, the place to be right now. Have you noticed the resurgence in retro gaming? Absolutely, I mean it's it's huge, especially with the uh, with the with the internet and YouTube. Yeah. I mean, it's, uh, some of these kids are coming in and it's completely knowledgeable. These things, which blows my mind. Yeah. I mean, being so young and to know so much, it really blows my mind. Uh, these kids know everything about this stuff, man. And this is all personal experience. It's not, hey, I read it somewhere. No, this is all personal experience. I played most of these games. So this is PS2, you got, I already got some footage of that over there. Xbox, you got uh, your Wii U, you even got the new stuff. More GameCube here, really good prices. I really love the way you have everything set up nice and neat. And I believe that's your son over there. He doesn't want to be on camera, but <laughs> yeah, he, he's, he's my nephew. He told me he prides himself in having the disc clean, and I love that. It's really respectful. Yeah, uh, we sell the disc as we were selling it to ourselves. So Cool, this is really awesome. Thank you for letting me do this. This is awesome. So I'm here at Got Next in Monrovia, California, and there's a good history behind this, and I'll tell you guys myself because unfortunately the owner is a little lost for words. You guys should come check it out. Great deals, buy two, get one free. Awesome place to come. Thank you guys.